Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. And when we do that, we have the right to say no to most things. But what if someone has something that they do to you? What if they take a CBD oil and slip you a Mickey so that you pass out and then you wake up with no clothes on? And I don't need that happening to me because I will motherfucking hunt you down and murder you. That's my right underneath American law, isn't it? An eye for an eye, right? Isn't that what we teach in the great Bible that everyone professes across the sky? But let me tell you, when I make these audio casts, when I spew my rage, when I spew my anger, I have the right to do it underneath the First Amendment. And when I say that I have the right to protect myself and defend myself, I have the right to do it under the Second Amendment. And when I speak to you that I have the right to be not quartered and not abused, I have the right to do it under the Third Amendment. And when I tell you that I have the right to my personal property and possessions, you motherfucking bitch of a sister, I have the right to do it. And when I tell you I have the right to my paperwork that belongs to me, my legal name that I chose long ago for me after my parents motherfucking fucked it up, that's my lawful right. And when I tell you that I have the right to my personhood, to not to be militarized, to not to be abused, that's my right. And all of that shit is under the Fourth Amendment. I could keep going through our amendments of what my rights are, but let me say this to you. My rights don't matter to you. My rights matter to me. But if we flip the coin and turn things around, and we did everything to you that you and your friends have been doing to me, how would you feel about America today? How would you feel about law enforcement, regardless of what their fucking sexuality is today? There are motherfucking heterosexual men and women in law enforcement that think they're their blue line. Then you've got their fucking families and their bastard children who think they're funny in a way that's not fine. And then we've got the actual gay people who just want everybody to join them and be out loud and proud waving their fucking flag. I'm like, sorry, there's only one flag that belongs to America, and it's already been pretty true. You see, it's the red, white, and blue. Did, if no one told you what those fucking colors stand for, let me do it again for you, you stupid shit. The red stands for the blood that has been costed to our country from shitbags from other foreign nations, not like my family. Not like my Japanese family, but like families who come here with bastard kids who refuse to regard our laws, who steal our money and never pay their taxes, who ruin our communities with their vicious, malicious games and the building of porn on our campuses, even snuff porn. And then they come into our religious houses with their money and all of them doing this thinking they're funny, and they tear our crosses out of those places. I was here last winter during, it was December, late December, early January, and a whole bunch of Orientals were, were looting or emptying out an apartment that was full of a huge box of our crosses for Christ. And I was offended, and they were throwing them to the trash. Most people in America, if they didn't want their collections anymore, they would take them to a Goodwill store or a Salvation Army or they would give them to a Christian organization that could give them out to people who are elderly who need something to believe in today. But let's just be really clear because I am pagan today because of the personal persecution of siblings and sisters who violate federal law. And I am personally a pagan because I believe in taking care of the environment and caring for people who care for it all. But as a pagan and as a pursuer, of the Jesus of Nazareth and the Odin of old and the Holy Ghost discussed heavily in almost every fucking book on religion, you motherfucking morons who are terrified of it. I don't have to show you one bit of Jesus' magic. I don't have to show you one bit of God's love. I don't have to show you one bit of how to check yourself to make sure you're not using your analytical stupid ass mind to outthink the Lord. But you can never outthink God. So as you keep playing your game, and as I keep getting abused, and as I keep being assaulted, and as I keep being bemused by these motherfucking faggot men who think they have a right to touch someone in the night, let me tell you, America is in for it. They are so in for it that God is killing everyone with COVID. And these shitbag managers who play and go pick up kids and do their shit all day and can never keep employees, they're the ones that the national companies keep paying to be our what? Our pursuers of our life? Our pursuers of our money? Our pursuers of our people? 
or do they just think themselves funny? Now I can switch to rhyme anytime, but what I can say to you is, your faggot hands do not belong on me. Your immoral wishes for my life and my body, I don't give a shit about you in this city. But if you come at me and you got something to say to me, why don't you be an adult and stand in front of me? But then tell me why you have the right to whatever the fuck you think you have the right to say. Tell me why you think you have the right to fucking attitude about my medical records, my privacy rights, my body rights, my clothing rights, my everything. Because, motherfucker, I didn't ask to be a slave to you. And I didn't ask you to become a stupid-ass game-playing slave to me. You see, there's no more masters in America. We have masters of education. We have masters of religion. We have masters of artisans. We have master craftsmen. We have masters who really put in the time and effort to become masters of some sort of trade. But when you think you are a master over my life, let me tell you, America got and abolished slavery a long time ago. But what you've done and said in front of God is, I'm in charge of the world. And no offense, motherfucker, if you're in charge of the world, go cure COVID. If you're in charge of the world, go fix all this immorality that you believe is immoral, despite the fact that God keeps bringing it back to the world. So why don't you check your religious versions? Why don't you check your Bible verses? And why don't you check yourself? to why you think God is immoral. You see, what you're saying to these people, what you're implying to these individuals, is that you think you're God, and you think you know what God makes, and you think that God has lied, and you think God it takes, and you think that you're in charge of me, or anyone else like me, anyone else who's homeless, anyone else who's struggling, anyone else who's impoverished. But I can tell you about the game-playing bitches and bastards of my father's house, they totally humiliated my father this past week and every fucking week since he died. And I'm not going to tolerate them humiliating me.